Yo, what is happening everybody? It's your buddy Aaron. Welcome back to another G35 video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your carbon fiber body pieces go from looking ugly and super sun faded like this one to looking brand new and clear just like this. We're finally going to be getting into the cosmetics of the G35. This is something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, for literally years. And now the sun's coming out and it's destroying my eyes just like it destroyed my carbon fiber on the G35. <laughs> no, but really guys, I bought I bought dip, I bought paint, I bought everything for this car right before the last G35 that I owned uh, unfortunately got totaled. And since then we've just been worrying so much about getting this car boosted and super fast and everything and we kind of neglected the body. It's just, it's fading, it's ugly, it's time to go. We got fading carbon fiber, we've got a mohawk growing on our roof over here and it's just, it's just not right. We got some, some trim that we're gonna have to, you know, like sand off and it's just time to get this thing looking like it like it needs to look I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm trying to be like you be distinct because your shit is fucking awesome looking anyway guys before we get into this video i have to give a huge shout out to one of our sponsors linkready.co if you guys never heard of it you guys really need to take a look into it linkready is the best social media bio link tool for combining all of your content and links into one easy shareable brandable link a really good example of using linkready is the fact that you can put it into your instagram bio which instagram only lets you put one link but if you've got you know a website or you know some merchandise or your Facebook your other socials or fuck even an OnlyFans like you can put all of that in there you guys can go ahead and use my link in the description to sign up if this is something that would be useful for you I think everybody should use this uh, especially since you're only allowed to put one link on like TikTok and Instagram it's it's super useful for that so head over to link ready create an account super easy to sign up and it's super fun to go ahead and personalize your own page but anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into some cosmetics finally on the G35 the next upcoming videos are are gonna be about getting this thing looking fucking sweet so that is gonna be uh, the plan we got this I haven't even washed this thing since we were like drifting it up in April I got like people fucking drawing shit on the back here I don't even know y'all like this thing has been sitting and it's got full of oil and it's full of like some overspray from some shit I need to like clay bar and like dude I need to go in on this thing like I've already sanded down the mirrors this shit was ready to be dipped at one point but uh, yeah, I got the dip just chilling over there up in those boxes. That will be another video. And you guys, I've been keeping this color a secret from you guys. And you guys still don't know what it is. So I'm, I'm going to just keep it a secret until we finally dip the car. But today, we're going to start off just by re-clear coating our carbon fiber trunk. Let's go ahead and remove it. We're going to go ahead and get it set up in the garage. And we're going to start sanding. I should probably leave it out here because it's going to get nasty. We're going to start sanding down the trunk with three different grips. We're going to use 1500, we're going to use 800, and we're going to use 600 if it's really bad in certain areas. Which, I mean, this thing is like super faded. I don't see any cracks or anything. It's not it's not extremely bad, but it's definitely getting there. Look at this. Like it looks so much better over here even though it's dirty. Like the Florida sun just destroyed this thing. Like what is that? What do you what what is that? I'm excited to finally see this uh, trunk pop again, so let's go ahead and get right into it. By the way, if anybody lives in Florida and they want to come pick up the spare trunk that I have with the tail light and the spoiler, uh, hit me up. Instagram at wg35. cleaned off my carbon fiber trunk with a sponge and some soap uh, because when we start sanding this thing down we don't want uh, any dirt or debris to be in the way and uh, kind of scratching the surface. The only thing we want scratching the surface is the sandpaper itself so uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and start sanding this. I'm gonna bring this outside and uh, we're gonna start using our three grits to sand everything down get everything super smooth and then uh, we'll go ahead and start laying down our clear coat which I got down here. All right, guys, so I got it pulled outside. I got our sandpaper chilling down here. So I picked up 800, 15, and 400. Um, or we should go 400, 800, then 15. Um, but we're actually not going to use 400 because I don't have any, like, major cracks or, like, super deep scratches in mine. It's just been faded from, you know, Florida sun destroying it. So we're not going to use 400, but we're going to start with 800. We're going to sand the whole thing down, wet sand it, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to 1500 to get everything a lot smoother. Check it out, it 
looks so good right now just because it's like all wet but once you sand it down and you you pretty much spray it off of water if you can see that it looks exactly like you want your end result to be then you pretty much know that uh, you don't have to go any further as far as sanding everything looks really good as far as all the surface scratches everything will be pretty much filled in just like this when you go ahead and spray on your clear coat like look at how fucking awesome that looks yeah, we're pretty much done sanding with the 800. We're gonna go ahead and uh, lay down 1500 just to get a little bit more smoother. And uh, we'll be able to get it to dry up and start painting. All right, so to speed up the drying process, just went ahead and used my air compressor to pretty much just get all of the heavy water off. Then I took some alcohol and a paper towel, just went ahead and made sure the whole surface was totally clean and has nothing on it. I do see like little like imperfections. I think it's just in the clear coat itself. Um, Cause once it dries up, it, it really shows um, everything. But once uh, once we get a whole new layer of paint on there, it should be looking pretty, uh, you know, you know, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint gun all hooked up. We gotta mix some of our paint. We gotta do an eight to two in one with our full thing hardener. And oh, shit. our clear coat that's right here. And we also got some reducer in here. This is pretty much, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's the best as far as uh, a finish goes uh, when using this full thing. Uh, it's a little expensive, but it will, uh, it will come out really good. And I also use this in the engine bay because it gives it sort of like a rubbery type of feel and can hold up to uh, a lot of, uh, you know, temperature. So I just got a lot of this because I'm going to be using it a lot as far as the roof and the engine bay. That's going to be coming up next. Oops, did I just, uh, did I just spill next week's and the following week's video? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and mix uh, the, so it's going to be 8 to 2 to 1. And uh, yeah, that's really it. We're going to go ahead and mix it up and uh, start spraying her. Yo, dudes, I just jumped into that AA Supply hoodie just so I can be safe with all this paint flying everywhere. If you guys want actually one of these hoodies, you can go over to AAAsupply.com. They got a sweet G35 on the back of them. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and start mixing our paint. We got our gun regulated at 29 PSI. They recommend 28 to 29 PSI when you're spraying. Um, so I got it at 29 right now. We're going to go ahead and mix the clear coat, the, uh, the reducer, and the activator uh, all together. It's going to be 8 to 2 to 1 ratio. I'm just going to eyeball it and then we're going to mix it up. So let's do it. Alright, so this is going to be our 8. Holy fuck. Okay, the two. To one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together. I'm gonna go get some gloves. Oh. These filters, because when you work outside, you got it, you know, super windy, like, as you can see. And like some little bugs like to fly in your fucking paint. So, you know, just filter them out a little bit. Right, guys got the first coat on there and uh, just wanted to do sort of a light coat but it's still like filled in really nice so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry up for the next 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna come back lay a second coat do the same thing um, I think we're gonna lay about three to four coats and then uh, we should be good I might go towards more like four um, I think I'm gonna go towards like four just because our Sun really destroys these clear coats and I want it to kind of be just thick enough to last a while so yeah all right, we're gonna go ahead and lay down our second coat now. It's been about seven, eight minutes. It was a pretty light coat, so I'm pretty sure it's nice and dry. But we're gonna lay down our second coat. We're gonna be a little bit more heavier on it. And uh, yeah, it's already looking really fucking good. Look at it. So it really did come out so good. 
But I can't lie, it didn't come out as good as I thought it would be. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks fucking glass, yo, it looks amazing. But there are a couple flaws in it, I guess, just from over time. I've had this trunk for like two years. So there was some little marks. It's really hard to see on camera. You can probably see a real long straight line, like right here. Like some, some real long cuts in it. I don't know if it was just from it flexing um, over time or something like that and just creating like a deep crack in the clear. Um, after clear coating it really does like fill most of that in but oh my god it looks so good right now like it's really popping this is fucking wild so I have it baking right now in these work lights um, these these lights kind of give like a nice warmth and it helps the the paint kind of bake and cure and harden um, and just and pretty much stay really nice and clear but it looks so much better than it did before. Like, I'm so stoked. Look at this fucking trunk, yo. Like, this this stuff is extremely exciting, super easy and cheap to do. So, like, if you guys have one of these trunks or any really carbon fiber piece and you guys want to get some more life out of it, definitely, definitely try and clear coat it and just kind of just kind of bring it back to life. You know what I mean? It's these little mods that when you go and park your car and you're just, like, constantly looking back at it, that, that just make, that just make, you know, owning that car that much better. So what does car guys do? We walking all the way up to the Walmart fucking sliding doors and we're still like looking back at our cars like, damn, that shit looks good. Oh my God, dude, I just, I can't get enough of this, dude. Fucking glass. Oh my God, look at that shit in the light. It looks so good. I didn't even get to see it in the light until I, I put it in fucking light. I mean, what do you know? But no, seriously, it looks so much better. Like We still got some more cosmetics to do on the car. The next thing is gonna be the roof. So stay tuned in the next video. I'm gonna be working on getting the roof uh, painted. I'm not gonna dip the roof. I'm actually gonna paint it and I'm gonna clear coat it and it's gonna look real nice. And I also got some dip for the entire outside of the car that is not the roof and or uh, the trunk right here. So let me know what color you guys think is gonna be coming next on the G, on the body and on the roof. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked, honestly, with, with the way that this thing came out. I can't wait to see what the rest is going to come out. Um, so yeah, next is the roof. Then after that, we're also going to do the engine bay, and then we're going to do the whole car afterwards. So we got a lot of cosmetic stuff. We're going to make the G look amazing. I'm going to be picking up my engine at Leonardi Auto Performance, who is taking really good care of my engine. Um, I'm going to be picking that up because they're redoing the head gaskets. Probably early February, so I'm going to be working on all of the cosmetics until then. And then uh, once all the cosmetics look pretty good, we're going to get the engine installed into the engine bay, and we're going to get it running. And hopefully uh, we won't have any... Uh, uh, major issues after that and we'll be able to start enjoying uh, this this fucking beast so I can't wait make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this video and uh, once again shout out to our sponsor link ready for sponsoring this video um, if you guys think you guys can use a real nice custom page of your own to share your own unique URLs links merch web pages only fans Twitters whatever the fuck you need you guys can actually compile them all into one link and uh, yeah put them in like your Instagram bio or something like that, or your TikTok bio, whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Stay tuned. I'm going to see you in the next video.